All right, so I finally nether portaled it up here in the Mesa. This part of the episode is actually being filmed after all of the parts to follow uh, because I realized that after I had built my piston elevator that the video was still pretty short because I do most of it off camera. So I decided I would show you that I did the nether portal here in the Mesa biome where I think I'm going to build my base. And if I walk through it, which I'm going to do now, yeah, buddy, come on, let's teleport. Uh, we go here, and I was starting, uh, whoa, they are still here, the blocks. Don't they despawn? <laughs> I did this ages ago. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, I, I even added, like, blocks with torches on them to uh, lead me back here, but the coordinates are 135, or, like, 1035 and minus 1000 with a 75Y coordinate value. Um, but basically, I was starting to make this tunnel out of clay here and um, I'm eventually going to have this lead back to my base when I make the nether hub it's gonna it's all gonna link I'm gonna figure out how to do it uh, but this is one big oh my goodness I almost fell in <laughs> but yeah that's uh, about it I I created the nether portal I collected some clay I built it most of the other clay you'll see in the episode is in my chest back at home I didn't collect a lot of it but uh, because this is being filmed afterwards, which means I've already completed the rest of the episode, it's kind of weird, I know. I'm going to um, end off my my episode personally in the Mesa so that next time I start off I can be here because this is where we're going to be building our next base here in this little kind of dome area. I built up with netherrack, it looks so ugly, oh my goodness. And uh, I think I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sand and the water over here which is over here and I think is that the only water I have in this dome I thought there was another pool somewhere hold on hold on it's a wild place huh it's um I was pretty sure I had another one I guess I only have one all right well that changes my plans <laughs> all right so we only have one pool so I'll build around those I don't really really ruin the sand in the and I think I'm also going to build a house that's like leaning off the ledge of a cliff but those are my future plans. Enjoy the episode where I build the elevator. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Today I'm starting it off in the zombie XP grinder once again. These guys are so annoying. I need to replace this cobblestone slab with a nicer one, but uh, other than that, all is good. Baby zombies don't seem to be going up as frequently as I'd like them to. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're just, they're just dancing around. I need to fix the efficiency on this, but it still works pretty well for the adult ones, so I'm pretty happy. I don't really need XP a lot these days, so I don't come here that often unless I'm using the anvil. Which today I'm using my diamond shovel and my efficiency 4 book that I had. This is my last efficiency 4, so I needed a good shovel though, so I think it's worth it. But today, we are going to be working on the piston elevator that I said I would do a long time ago. Uh, we're gonna turn the master volume a bit up here. Oh, that's way too loud. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Today we're gonna be working on the piston elevator that I said I would do a long time ago. I think it's finally time to get that into full swing. Um, I'm very excited about the project. I think I can finish it all in this episode. I did find a pretty pretty good tutorial on YouTube on how to do it in 1.7 and with uh, with a limited amount of resources because I'm not willing to waste that much <laughs> and um, I would just want to go up to my house right now and measure the the distance that the elevator is gonna have to go it really depends on the distance and and uh, that's how much of the material of mine that I will have to use in order to make this it's gonna be my first big project I think and I want to make it right here which is why I got this efficiency for shovel I need to clear out some area here uh, do I have my render distance on far? Okay, let's turn that to zero because that probably bothered a lot of you. And then video settings, we'll put 10 max FPS. So we'll clear out a lot of this area here. Uh, we need to put the sounds up a bit here. There we go. It's going to take a while to clear out this area, but we need a big hole. And I do have a work pick as well for the stone. Um... Okay, that, I don't think that did very well. <laughs> the FPS seemed to have dropped a bit there. What happened? Here we go. Hmm. 
All right, so I'm going to clear out this area. It's going to be a big hole where we're going to put the redstone for the elevator. I'm going to link the tutorial I used for the elevator in the description below if you guys want to check it out. It's very, very simple and straightforward to follow. So if you guys are ever looking to build a piston elevator in your own worlds, I would definitely suggest this person's tutorial. I found it very enjoyable. And I keep having to mess with my settings here because for some reason on 1.7, settings never save, <laughs> ever. Ooh, iron, look at that, free iron. Uh, I'm just wondering, before I cut to where I get some progress done, hold on, <laughs> just want to see something. How high am I going to have to go? One, two, three, oh, I'm getting the speed again. Oh, it's pretty high. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay. Okay. The river's right there. We're going to have to extend the river, which is something I wanted to do. But for the most part, I think after we do that, it should be about this high. Let's go check out the river. See if we can do anything with extending it a bit here. Yeah, there we go. See, that didn't work out too bad. Actually worked out pretty well. We extended the river a bit. Um, and it's nice and flat. I'd say I'm going to do that just a bit more and clear the hole and I'll be right back with you guys. Aha! So I did go ahead and clear out a bunch of area for our little river here. Uh, it used to be a bunch shorter. I actually went ahead and added more dirt here to this part and I filled it in almost all. <laughs> Let's go and get that. I needed a night vision potion I think. Yeah, I made a night vision potion. I made two, um, but I only needed one. Because I needed to see the dirt under here. You can't see anything while you're filling this out. I might have to drink another one. Oh, I'm drowning. That was another problem I ran into. But here we go. We kind of filled it in a bit. There we go. So I kind of made that. I might terraform it later. Maybe not. Um, but I did build my trench in the ground here. And this is actually where we're going to start on our elevator. Um, in the video, it told me to do like 6x7x3 by by or something of the sort, so I dug a trench like that. Uh, if you do want to see the video, I, once again, it is going to be in the description. I'm going to be following that, so if you want to know why I'm doing what I'm doing from now on here, um, you can just watch the video. But uh, I can't wait to implement this into my survival world. One thing I do need, though, however, are redstone repeaters. I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory right now that I was going to need for this project. Like, oh, I did find iron. That's right. Let's go smelt that. Oh, finally, the glass is done. Aha, there we go. Uh, glowstone can go, and we can do iron. And let's go ahead and go to our crafting table and make a bunch of redstone torches. There we go. I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I thought I forgot how to craft a redstone torch. That would not have been a good start. Okay. Now some redstone repeaters, which we're going to need stone for, not cobblestone. And I have a lot of stone, a lot and a lot of stone. So we're good with that aspect. We can just basically do that. We can get up to 21 repeaters, which I think is going to be good for this project. I don't know what I just did. It's redstone there. Torches here. There we go. And we're going to do this. And we're just going to do half, half redstone in the middle and we've got our starting repeaters and if we go out here you'll see that I have so we've got the redstone torches we've got the materials to make them I've got the materials to make my pistons as well I'm actually gonna set up a shop here so don't, I don't have to keep going into the house in order to get to work on this project I don't want to throw out food so let's create a bunch of chests here. I think that'll be a good idea. Not quite eight. Maybe four. Four will do. Four will do, and then we'll store all of our materials in them. There we go. So we have an empty inventory while we're at work. I like it. I like it. Actually, one double chest would have sufficed. <laughs> but now I feel a lot more organized. So I'm going to get to work on this. Uh, I'm... Still trying to figure out what block I want to use as my base. Um, but I'm probably going to surround it at the end with clay because we did find a mesa. Um, clay is something I think I have a lot of right now. Actually, I don't think I collected much while we were there, so it can't be clay. 
go look at our building blocks real quick. Okay, so we do have some clay. We need something that'll blend. Why are these not stacked? There we go. Um, <laughs> I'd say we just surround it with wood, to be honest. If we want it to really match the house, I think that'll do. So I will be back with you guys in just a second. Alright, so I got started on the base here. I decided to use wood as my base block so that I would kind of theme with the kind of wooded theme I have here at this base before I migrate to start building at the Mesa biome where we will use clay probably as our primary source. I've decided to use wood here. As you can see, I've created the base and uh, next I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create the elevator itself so that when I stand here and I hit this button, it won't only bring me that high, but it'll bring me all the way up to where I want to go. And that leaf block is just sitting there. But I uh, just thought I'd check in with you guys, show you the base. And I think I'm going to need more redstone. <laughs> I think I need to go collect more, either mine it or get it from the chest that I have in my house. But um, now is the part where I create a million pistons and then I will be right back with you guys. All right. So I did all the piston work. Um, it looks pretty good so far. I'm actually surprised at how well this is turning out. Um, I'm going to try to find a way to have it blend in with the house so it doesn't look like too much of an eyesore. But now we're going to focus on, well, I'm going to focus on the, um, the back end of the elevator here, which I think I'm going to clear out some land for. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. I'm happy with how this is turning out. Uh, one thing I'm not happy about is why I keep, I don't know, on my screen it feels like I'm kind of lagging, kind of not getting the maximum frame rate that I can, and I'm getting 38. Hmm. There must be a lot of entities around here somewhere. Oh man, I think it's time for a harvesting. I think it's time for a harvesting. Let's get all these cows, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get some food here, so that we can live off of, uh the steak when we're creating this. Our cow farm is almost dead. We need to repopulate. But I needed to get rid of some entities because it was getting really laggy. Collect all this. Alright. Go back over to our elevator. Alright, now it's a bit better. Yeah, now it's a bit better. Okay. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I've gotten done so far. I'm going to start working on the back end here and I will catch you then. Hi there. I'd like to uh, ride up your elevator, please. Yeah, sure, that'll be 150. All right, thank you. <laughs> nice, quick, and very, very efficient. <laughs> and then I just jump off into the water. It's nice and fun. I can go up on this however many times I want. I'm gonna cover it up, don't worry. But yay, all the way up to the elevator, and then I'm here. Oh, I gotta cover this with wood. That's something I gotta do. Woo! And then down in the water. That was a project I said I would do. Now, I'm actually gonna add on to this. Look at all my supplies, though. I've only got four redstone left, three pistons, and uh, one torch. What was the one I was most... Uh, yeah, and, like, no wood. Like, I used it all here. So, I've been at this, getting the wiring right and pillaring up to try to get this just exact on for at least an hour and a half to two hours now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Building stuff with redstone and survival is just not the easiest thing to do. But I'm and sometimes like if you're not fully in, it'll push you out. So you got to be completely in so that it doesn't push you out. But most of the time it does work as as it should. And now I'm going to implement the down feature where if I go all the way up. Yeah, see it pushed me out. Dang it. It's it doesn't work 100% of the time for some reason. But it works 90% of the time. And occasionally I will take a bit of damage. But it's all good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to add is the down feature. Which means that I can stand on this and it will take me down. That's going to be a bit tricky. <laughs> if you're watching the video I'm following. I think it's the more tricky of the parts. I actually need to clear some more area here. And I need to get a ton more wood. Using my axe. And I think after we add the down feature, that'll be enough of today's episode. I've had enough of survival already, but I want to get this done. So I'm going to go cut down a bunch of trees, get some wood, and then I will add the down feature and we will see how it is once it's done. All 
Alright, everyone! I think it's just about done. The only thing I need to go ahead and do now is the exterior look. But that's much easier than all of this. So basically, let me let me just go through this with you if you choose not to watch the walkthrough video. Um, these layers here, this these repeaters, these repeaters, those repeaters, everything basically on this exterior part of the system is accounted for the downward part of the system, the part that brings you down. And then this part, the pistons that were originally here that you did you, you did you bleh, that you did see before, I'm not good with redstone. <laughs> are the upward part of the system. So if we go in here and we click the button, it'll bring us all the way up. This is the part I'm actually concerned about though. Uh, let's just take our axe real quick. I want to go ahead and make and cut down some wood, sorry, because we need more of it. We just keep running out. I've cut down so many trees now. All right, so make wood. And if we go back to our little elevator here, the downward part is perfect. I've already tested it, but the upward part, I think it's caused by lag, where sometimes it doesn't take you all the way up, but most of the time it does, like it just did. This is the downward part here. I accidentally put it a layer too short, so I'm fixing that now. I'm gonna put glass there, S extend up here, and then the layer will be here. This will be the layer. So we gotta get rid of that bottom part, but if we do the downward part here, we just step on this, it does its thing, and it slowly takes us all the way down. Okay, we did take a bit of damage there. That wasn't supposed to happen. Hmm. Uh, we need to go get our glass. Do we have any more? Yeah, we've got 35. And we need to go back up. <laughs> I feel like if you jump before it happens, it doesn't work. Just stay still, and then it'll bring you up. There we go, yeah, so just stay still. So I don't wanna jump anymore then. This is gonna have to be fixed. Um, if I go ahead and do this, put glass here, put glass here. Now I want to go ahead and destroy anything that's under here because it shouldn't be here. Basically the bottom layer. There we go. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Just got to break it. <laughs> destroy what I've done. <laughs> this is taking me so long. Oh my goodness, this elevator has been the biggest project I think I've ever worked on in my world. It's really the only redstone project I've done. Okay, that's part of the wall. And then we gotta get rid of this. And then we do this, and we can just have it at that. And I think that's all the, the below ground. No, it's not. I think now that's probably it. So let's go take a look. Um, I'm gonna make a sign here actually that says down, and a sign down there that says up. And I think next episode, hmm, I think, uh, I will certainly polish this off at one point. I don't know if it'll be in this episode though, because I've been working so much today to get this done. <laughs> I wanted to get it all done in one episode. Let's take a look. Yep, that looks about right. So if we want to polish it off, I want to be utilizing the oak wood planks rather than the jungle wood planks to furnish it off because I don't want to, I want it to basically link to the house colors, if you know what I'm saying. I don't want to use logs because those are too, I mean, if you use logs, it just it takes so long to get a lot of logs, you know? You gotta cut down a lot of trees. But let's just cover up the redstone here. There we go. So it looks a bit fancier. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. That's uh that's the piston elevator, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. There are certainly I need to create the exterior. I'll probably do that at the beginning of the next episode. Hmm, I'm wondering if I should do it now or the beginning of next. All right, I gave in. I kind of furnished it off a bit, and I had an idea while I was doing it. Now, this is still a work in progress, everyone. This is not finished. Don't think that this is the finished thing. I was just furnishing it a bit, and uh, my axe is almost broken here. <laughs> but um, what I'm going to be doing instead of making it a diving board, I'm going to do it that, but you can easily jump from there into the water and have a good time. I also want to make it so that this connects to these trees over here, and in these trees can be my treehouse. I think it all worked out together that way. Why are there still saplings in the air here? Why have they not decayed? Why do saplings stay in the same place for so long? I'm going to have to get rid of those. This is going to get on my nerves. But that's going to be it for today, everyone. Let me know what you think of the piston elevator and uh 
back up a bit. Yeah, that's the only thing that's wrong with it so far. I don't really know how to fix that. And if any of you redstone people know and you tell me and you use all these big fancy redstone words, I'm not going to understand you because I followed a tutorial in order to do this. But for the most part, I'm happy with it. I furnished it up here as well. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the blend. And then if I want to get down, just go stand here and then bam, 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 bam. It's going to bring me all the way down. And that's pretty much it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. If you did, remember to leave a like rating for all of that work. <laughs> Jeez, man. I, uh, I, I think this episode took me four hours. Four hours to get... Because I already had a lot of the wood and I had a lot of the redstone to do it. So it was basically just plug and play. But I made a lot of errors. And those errors costed me a lot of time, so I, I hope you guys like it. I mean, this is the only error, as you can see. I just love riding this thing. Excuse my excitement. And I'll put a world download up with it um, probably in a few episodes or so. But uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you would change. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.